Hey guys, it's Kutumar. She does it all. A little bit of everything. I'm going to give you the latest on TJ Holmes and Amy Warbach on the package that they receive. Not only they exit GMA, but they also get a healthy package. Only in America, man. Only in America. So let me go and read this for you. Exit GMA host Amy Wobach walked away from ABC with bigger settlement than boyfriend TJ Holmes so stated. Of course, <laughs> y'all know where I'm going with that. Amy Wobach walked away from ABC News with a pretty penny, but it seems a boyfriend TJ Holmes can't say the same for himself. I mean, he had just got there. I think Amy Wobach had more times there, so we have to be fair with that. Insiders spilled that the nearly exit lovebirds who were first taken off the air last year after the workplace affair made headlines both got a nice severance package from ABC News upon their exits. That's good. <clears throat> I heard they say they don't ever have to work again. So if they know what they're doing, spend the money right and invest, they could... Actually, I think they'll be good together. Have a, a some some not reality show, some type of show together. People will watch it to see how they behave. So, what could be a fallout in some people's eyes could be a big comeback for them. To tell you the truth, however, it was reported that the blonde beauty walked away with an even bigger settlement than her alleged serial cheating beau, <laughs> who has since been accused of several other office relationships. The, the specifics of both their settlement remain unknown at this time. One source pointed out they differentiating deals, Amy being at ABC a lot longer, that's what I was saying, then has a much bigger contract. That's what, exactly what I was saying. This could be the reason why she has a bigger pension or retirement, however they call it. Warbuck 50 joined the network in 2012. That's a long time ago. While the 45-year-old came on board in 2014. In addition to co-hosting GMA3 with Holmes, Warbuck also appeared on News Magazine 2020, a job one insider said she worked really hard to get. I don't know what you mean, work really hard. <laughs> Ah, oh, God, I don't want to go there. As for what day checks may have looked like, another source suggested the unemployed couple likely got paid what they would have made for the reminder of their contracts and possibly a little bit more than that. That's not bad. You know, when I look at TJ, TJ look like this vagabond. Vagabond, in my language, is like a thug like that would do anything that would go down <laughs> they have no shame on their game he's a professional but i've seen him in jeans i've seen him grab this lady you know what i think he's a fun guy that's why they fall for him he looks like a vagabond in my Haitian language vagabond is a thug street like guy and for some reason Beautiful, educated women fall for those thugs like guys. I don't know why. They fun to, to be around with, but they not serious. You can't take them serious because they go around. They don't think with the right head. They think with the wrong head. And that's why I'm telling you, he's, 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 he looks like he's a fun guy. They then added it's possible they could have gotten paid slightly more to sign an NDA <laughs> and to keep the peace. The scandalous duo is said to be satisfied with their deals. However, sus close to the controversial television hosts are now asking, what if, what is it worth it? No, no, no. As, are asking the duo, was it worth it? Well, hey, if they are happy and um now they are both available to be around each other do whatever the hell they want without having to worry about nobody's consent you know we're back in homes who are the middle of finalizing their divorce from their uh, respective spouses were suspended from the gma roles in december 20 22 while the network conducted 
an internal investigation into the office swamp after the war mess was exposed to the public on November 30th, 2022. In a statement shared on Friday, January 27th, an ABC News spokesperson confirmed the network cut ties with Holmes and Warbot. <sighs> Let me tell you guys something. For let me finish reading it and then I'm gonna give you my opinion. After several productive conversations with Amy Roback and TJ Holmes about different options, we all agree it's best for everyone that they moved on from ABC News. Read the statement. We recognize their talent and commitment over the years and are thankful for their contribution. ABC Insiders confirmed a mediation took place on Thursday, January 26th, and that it carried into the next day, lending up to the announcement. Okay. <clears throat> this is what I am thinking. TJ Holmes is so good at what he's doing. You know, grown up folks do. Amy Roback willing to take it there and say, for love, for freaky time, for good time, I am willing to put my profession down. I'm willing to give it all up for this thing. It is so good. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. Another thing I'm thinking, remember TJ Holmes used to be at CNN with Don, Don Lemon. And out of nowhere, he just disappeared. We never seen him again. I'm, I, right now, I'm thinking, was that the reason they let him go from CNN? Was he going around sleeping with everything that has two legs also? <laughs> I'm sorry for saying that because they never discussed the reason why he was no longer there. It was uh, a little time later on, we realized he was at ABC I was like, what happened? This guy used to be in CNN. I guess CNN kept it down low. But I am almost 100%. The same reason they X him out is because he was going around doing the same thing. Again, I had explained it to a previous video that I made that for him to be able to sleep with all these women in the office, the stick really has to work really well. And if one lady gets some of the stick, go around and tell the other ones, everybody want to prove it for themselves to see if it's true. That's what I think happened. And for Amy Robach to still hang on to this man after knowing that he's been around the office, sleeps with everything that had a leg, this thing must really be magical. And God bless him for that. And he looks like the type that can put it down. Forgive me for saying that. But he looks like the type that don't care. <laughs> that would put it down like nobody's business. And usually women like Amy Warbach don't have those kind of guys that put it down like don't care. Don't, 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 no pain, no gain kind of stuff. So when they find a guy like TJ Home, it's like, where have you been? <laughs> Where have you been all my life? So that's the reason I think Amy Robach decided to, you know, separate from her husband. Probably he was a bored guy, not putting it down like TJ is doing. And she's willing to lose it all for that good time, for that good moment. And my thing is, TJ is such a vagabond, is such a vagabond. Is he going to hang there with her? Although she lost, she lost it all for her, for him. Seriously, she gave it all up for him. Now, is he going whew, to hang there with her, or is she gonna end up being embarrassed for leaving her profession, you know, as a news anchor for a piece of steak that might not worth it, you know? So let me see if I could find the latest on them. To see, because today is Valentine's Day, you know? <laughs> oh my God. It's fun. It's fun to see 
somebody in their fifties and still going around and like they young kids having fun and stuff. It's like, come on, yeah, not. Yeah, not that young. So, what are you guys doing? Let me see. Oh, they live together now. Let me see this. That's four hours ago. Let me see if they live together now. That's so crazy, people. I'll tell you that. good it says tj's retreat cgma alone tj holmes four hundred and ninety thousand dollar peaceful atlanta home where he escaped after scandal with girlfriend amy robot um let me see that was four hours ago yeah good morning america alone tj home has a peaceful four hundred and ninety thousand dollar atlanta home where he has escaped his affair scandal with his girlfriend amy robot the U.S. Sun can exclusively reveal the beautiful about it that T.J. whisked Amy, Amy away to over the holiday season has four bedroom and three and a half bath with over 3,000 square feet of space. <laughs> I mean, the guy look happy. Yeah, leave him alone. He's happy. The sprawling home is located at the end of a beautiful cul-de-sac, which offers plenty of privacy for the canoodling former co-host. The home was awarded to TJ in his divorce from Amy Ferson. Ferson and the newsman had just moved into the property when they arrived in Georgia following TJ's landing his first big break at CNN. I'm telling you, when she filed for divorce back in 2006, 2006 between TJ's Atlanta hideout and Amy's new love's nest high up in the New York City skyline, the new couple has plenty of places to escape from prying eyes as they figured out what's next after they lost their ABC gigs last month. But one thing I heard, Amy Robach come from money, so this is nothing for her. That's why she's willing to lose it all, give it all up for this piece of steak because she has money. It doesn't matter. Amy moved into an expensive two-bedroom, two-bath co-op unit shortly after leaving the $5.2 million West Village marital home she shared with her exchange husband, Andrew Shu. The downtown Manhattan, Manhattan unit sounds like the perfect love nest for the former co-workers as the description hails the home as a space you won't want to leave. But she used to live there with her husband. I don't think they're going to be living there. The stunning apartment has a private terrace and massive windows with panel, panoramic, panoramic New York City views, which features the iconic Empire State Building. Good. Amy's new pad also includes an unsuited bathroom to the primary bedroom, with a standalone soaking tub and a separate shower with rain heads for a spa-like experience. But who, how do they know all that information? I'm sure she didn't let them in her house. Amy and Andrew are said to be working through their divorce, but they have yet to officially file anything. Really? Meanwhile, TJ filed for divorce from his wife, Merrily Feebig, in late December. Merrily had brought on a second powerhouse attorney, Farah Rodriguez, last month, who recently made partner at her firm, Phillips Naze LLP in Mar 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 Manhattan. Meanwhile, a legal expert has claimed that TJ's alleged affair can impact his custody case if a court found that the person's extramarital relationship impacted their ability to parent. Well, I don't know. Uh, Lisa Zetterman, a New York divorce attorney and partner at Miller's 
Zetterman said that one of the questions that might be examined in a custody case, such as TJ's, which came with so much press coverage, is examining the impact a high-profile alleged affair could have on a child. This lack of privacy and the degree to which a parent has contributed to that lack of privacy, I don't think would be helpful in a custody case she shared. I mean, he has three kids. I didn't know he had three kids. Okay. The love bird love each other. Leave them alone for now. Let them enjoy life. And it is what it is. Whatever happened in the future happened. Leave them alone. Let them live life. And um, they have money. They can do it. Let them have their own shows. And you will see how beautiful that thing end up. Just leave them alone. 50 years old. Look at TJ. Look at TJ looking all happy running next to this lady. <laughs> TJ is a vagabond in my eyes. Beautiful smile. And it looked like he knows how to put it down. Subscribe. Bye, y'all. <laughs>